What is up YouTube, it is Matty and welcome to this war recap. Firstly, before we kick start, I would like to apologise again. I did say it last video I uploaded yesterday. Um, my hard drive did break. I've, it's massively out of sequence. I've got, I'm going to have about seven to eight videos I need to upload that should have been before this one, this recap. But um, I'm going to have to catch up when I get that back. So hopefully all the data is intact and it's okay. I've had to send it away to some data recovery centre, um, which sucks major. Um, but don't drop your laptop, that's uh, the lesson of the day. So let's have a little look at a war recap. I would like to also apologise, um, had a little shift in life um, at the moment in terms of being able to um, spend a huge amount of time on Clash. On um, I'm, I'm sort of shifted priorities a little bit, I guess. I'm, doing, I'm spending a lot of time with uh, the wife, the kids, um, and just trying to sort out the house and sort out my home life a little bit. It's all, it's all good. I'm... Yeah, very happy, um, and it's it's made, taken a really positive, nice, relaxed influence on my life. But um, I've sort of put, put YouTube a little bit secondary for a little while, which again, I, I, it, I think um, it's all about balance, and the balance is constantly shifting. So um, it's just that, that's just life, I guess. But the wars versus is PWC versus Quebec 18 arms, which is. Um, 18 years, uh, I think, in French, uh, from remembering from my GCSE French lessons. I'm just going to blast through the Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11 recaps. Unfortunately, the Town Hall 9 I'm not really going to get a chance to do, so apologies if you're Town Hall 9 enthusiasts. Um, however, you will see a little special video here, and Mruxim does an awesome attack. This is Town Hall 9 versus Town Hall 10. Um, so you don't get much better Town Hall 9 content than this, considering the ma the defences there are max for Town Hall 9. Heroes not so much, but 23 and 23, if you're comparing it to the 30-30 that Town Hall 9 max is, this is a pretty solidly max Town Hall 9, plus the fact it's obviously got to it two multi-target infernos on there to really add to it. So this is potentially the best Town Hall 9, 9 uh, um, three star that a Town Hall 9's done in any of my videos in the past months, years, you know, it's been a while. So, yeah, I, I would like to apologize for not getting the Town Hall 9 content done. I just need to catch up and get things going um, in terms of getting the recaps done. And what, look at those Valkyries that nearly ran outside the wall. That was ridiculous. Dodging the jump as well. They are just being absolutely mighty. And when I say mighty, I mean crazy. Um, but they eventually decide to go in and destroy the core. Great rage spell placement. Good use of bowlers here as well to clean up. Um, Queen Walk is going nice. She's going to take a couple more defences down. So, actually ended up using the... Luckily, um, the only thing really going for him on this um, attack um, by Mruxim would be the fact that the base layout was absolutely appalling. Um, and there was a hound in the CC, which means he could blatantly ignore it, get the queen walking one way, all the troops going in the other way, and boom, it's a three star. So, I to say I'm impressed is an understatement. Huge shout out to Mrux in there for wrecking that base. Um, and now we're going to start moving up. A 97 and an 84 by Crime there, unfortunate. We'll hit a one star on this base as well. You can see only 72 out of 8 attacks used. I mean, it wasn't a serious war. Um, and what I've noticed is that we sort of put effort in when the war counts. So when it's against Wiz on a face, you'll see 80 out of 80 attacks used. Everyone will be planning and, and a lot of um, banter. When it's sort of a casual war, um, not so much. And same with myself, actually. I've found that when it's a really poor base design, like, for example, this one, I really only spend five five minutes planning, if that. It's just I, don't, I can't warrant, um, because the base design is so bad, it means I'll fail more. Um, if I did spend my normal amount of time planning, I'd probably have a higher success rate. But I just can't bring myself to do it when it comes to these sh poor bases. And I think quite a few people have that um, similar mindset, I guess. And you can see here, like, wall breaker placement. It wasn't ideal. It didn't quite work out. Um, but still getting a... Um, it's still, it's still quite impressive, this attack, actually, because it's still a Town Hall 9 versus a Town Hall... Um, sorry, not Town Hall 9. Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10. La Loon 3-star on, essentially, a max Town Hall 10. Agreed, it's a really abysmal base layout, um, which does make a difference, but still, it's impressive nonetheless, because these are max Inferno Towers, max Expos. Yes, the Expos are all facing down, um, but... 
considering what's happened and the fact he's only taken down one air defense, no infernos um, with his king and queen, it's um, you need pretty good uh, hound and loon placement on this. So take note of where he drops his spells, how many he drops um, sort of loons he drops on the defenses, and where they're going to path to, and how he cre correctly uses the freedom rage spells here, because that's going to make a big difference. And even though these base designs are quite poor, it's you still need good. I think I failed on this base as well. I think I did. Um, you still need really good um, spell placement and loom placement to be able to still bring home the three stars. So it's not a given, especially when you're using the La Loon strategy. So here we've got the loons going in. And, uh, a couple of arch towers have survived, but it looks like they're going to go down. That Inferno Tower being the last major threat there. Um, looks like that final hound might not pop. I don't think it's going to unless it's a... No, it's not going to pop. And the loons will be able to get that inferno tower down. And then it's a case of just cleanup. So really solid attack there. Great spell, loon and hound placement to be able to bring home the three star. So great job by Omar. Um, really nice attack. Let's have a little look further up the field. We've got number nine, which is an attack by Fam. Um, which is a town hall. Which I was going to say it was a dip. That is a lie. There is no dip here. Um, it's a, it's a Tunnel 10 on Tunnel 10 3 star against, again, a Max Tunnel 10. But it's it's one of those things, isn't it? It's a poor layout. Is it, is it, you know, it's not an... When it's on a, a, a layout that's bad, does it take away from the road? Yes, it does a little bit. But this, because this is the majority of wars that people play, yes, an elite arranged wars are awesome. Facing um, anti-3 star bases is awesome. Being able to get that practice... And getting a three star on an anti three star base is uber satisfying. I agree to all that, but that those sort of wars are far rarer than these sort of wars. Farm wars, wars where you're against sort of bad base designs or anti two star base designs are far more common, and therefore these sorts of attacks may uh, appeal to a lot more people. So on that respect i'm more than happy to have these sorts of attacks shown on the channel because it gives people ideas um day to day what sort of attacks they can be expecting to use and how to to sort of um yeah pl plan raids really um this is a mass boulder strategy which we all know guiding those bowlers into the core to uh, to get them going unfortunately it looks like it's almost died out a little bit the attack has gone quite bad at this point in fact if i didn't know any better i would have said this was a um a fail but he's <laughs> i think through sheer grit and determination being able to pull off the three star from it and it's going to be the queen that is mvp on this one hasn't got much cleanup got a few loons left and he's going to bide his time probably wait till there's a couple of distracted defenses there now the queen's going to be losing health this is the risky bit now look she is going to was going to die forgot he had the ability and that perfect timing on the ability there was absolutely critical to the three star in this raid so fam has uh, held on to it bit his lip done great timing at the end of the vid uh, end of the raid and that has resulted in the three star attack so fantastic great um it looked like a fail uh, I, I'm sure you guys thought so. Those skellies are doing absolutely piss nothing to that dark storage. Queen came up and the loons to help finish it off there. Um, anyway, moving on. Me next. Number eight. Dropping the triple. Let's have a little look. Um, it's, a, it's another one of these anti-two star base designs. And it's looking... Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of those things I said. You spend a few minutes planning it. It's not the, um, it's not the ideal wizard there to help me uh, just get the the defense so the queen went the right way i figured the walk would get the queen it would get the air defense it's just a straightforward walk i also thought if i use bowlers to uh, help take that create the funnel for me so you can see here that valk drop was actually an accident <laughs> um so it did that was not deliberate i uh, did fat finger that valkyrie um in case you're wondering why have i just used a valk to funnel that when the bottles were just going to do it anyway and here you can see i'm trying to just create a basic f funnel in for those valks um to go the right way if they'd have gone to the cannon here i'd have been in an absolute disaster because they would have got not gone inside and here we go then they decide to go in perfect raging healing trying to um, distract that um use the poison to slow down the dragon and the loon and i'm just trying to push them through double jump you can see so i make sure they go through the inferno towers 
They do go through the Inferno Towers, which works nicely. Bowler's still taking down a couple of defences here, which is looking nice. Loon's for the top side. Um, queen for the bottom side. And I am looking pretty solid for the three star. So, yeah. On these sort of base layouts, you can just come up with a basic plan. As long as you take... Um, You've got a sort of a plan to take down each Inferno Tower, I guess. Um, lucky that Loon took down a Wizard Tower, by the way. I don't know if I did this recording live. I can't remember. So that's why I'm um, I'm, I'm d doing the uh, the recap that includes it. So apologies if this is a repeat video. But because I haven't got my laptop um, that I'm, I, sta I use normally, I can't. I, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, when it you know, as long as you take a plan for each Inferno Tower, because if you don't funnel correctly and the Valks miss go targeting the Inferno, it's basically game over, um, and you won't get the three star. If you don't plan for the Valks to get to both Inferno Towers quickly, um, it's it's going to be a fail. So you need to always identify that getting those Infernos quick and effectively is the key to getting the three stars on these sorts of raids. Psycho dropping a. Town Hall 11 on Town Hall 11 triple. It's not a max Town Hall 11. There is a level 1 in Eagle Artillery. Um, some lower level Expos, level 3s. Um, so it's, it wasn't a max Town Hall 10 gone. Town Hall 11. It looks like he's a little bit rushed and just jumped ahead. Got himself a nice level 11 Warden though. Um, in fact, hasn't even got Town Hall 9 max heroes, which is pretty embarrassing. I hate this sort of thing when I look at it. Um, bases that have just rushed that ahead a bit. Instead of just doing, you know, enjoying Town Hall 9, getting max um, heroes, because it, it, it's fun doing it if um, that's your primary account. Maxing Town Hall 10. Again, there's great rage you can do at Town Hall 10 now. Uh, maybe not. Um, six to eight, ten months ago, you know, not then, but nowadays, there are some great um, variation in attacks you can do. I agree that bowlers are overpowered. I agree that you know it, the the game is far away from being perfect, but the, you know you can still have some fun at Tunnel Ten and wreck some bases, um, particularly when you come against anti three stars. So you have to plan them, but you can get triples. So my point is. Don't rush just to get to a Town Hall 11 without enjoying what the other Town Halls have to offer. I'm not a Town Hall 11. Will I ever be a Town Hall 11? Will I give up the game before that? Probably. I don't know. Um, I just always seem to enjoy being that le one level down. I stayed Town Hall 9 until Town Hall 11 came out. Um, I just, I don't know, it's something about it that... Uh, I'll, I'll stay where the fun is. Um, although Town Hall 11 dips do seem like great fun uh, when you uh, when you do them. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'd enjoy them. I didn't notice that there were miners in this raid as well. Good to see some a bit of mine action sweeping around the outside there. I think we've got one video left, and then we're going to call it a day. And I think it's Rob's 99% that I want to go through, and that that is it. Max Town Hall 11, 40, 40, 20 on the heroes. Defense wise, all I can see is max. Um, only thing that's not is the cannons, which are obviously a very new thing. Um, so let's check out how he does it. Looks like a bit of a golem walk, bit of um, bowler funneling to start the raid. Warden down nice and early. Um, Queen and King, I'm sure, will follow. It's going to be a direct rush into the Eagle Artillery and the Inferno Towers. The Inferno's got a very deep split as well. You can see how far away that one Inferno Tower is away from the rest of the action. So how he deals with that is going to be very interesting. Going to come to the Warden ability, I imagine, is going to be key here. I imagine it's coming soon as well because of the... Um, I was going to say, there it is, CC and Inferno Tower. So how he deals with this next Inferno, I'm very um, keen to see as well. Uh, I imagine that that's where the freeze is going to be used. So everything's going okay so far. The bowlers are starting to get hurt. The healers are in a good spot. They need to switch those bowlers ideally. But in fact, can he get that Inferno Tower down nice and quickly? In fact, no. Um, the first set of bowlers have been murdered. Um, the Queen and the King are looking good on health. The healers have switched target to them. But the again... The Inferno Tower is there to slow them down. The Queen ability timing left very late there, but still used. Can he get to that Inferno Tower quickly? It looks like the Queen won't target it immediately. The King's rushed up there and got it. And the Queen is in fact looking okay. She sat back enough to not get killed. Will the um, healers be legendary? And, and they will be legendary and switch to her, which is fantastic. That's going to give her that spurt of life, which might help with the three-star. There's quite a few defences still left. Nice clean-up up top. 
Um, Queen now hitting defense after defense. Will she go to the expo next? It looks like she will. Booming these defenses down nice and quickly. And that little bit of slither of health that she once had is now gone. She is back to max health. Through the warden helping out with the extra HP. They're now stuck hitting walls. Bowler doing a bit of damage that um, to that Tesla. Can he survive? No, he can't. The que uh, Queen's going to have to come in again here. Um, Tesla's still hitting that um, Warden now. Warden's taking some serious damage. Healers have switched to him. And now double defense down again. So Queen is just in the last like 30 seconds, 40 seconds taken down. Probably four or five defenses quite quickly. And she's going to be the one that takes down these last few. So we're going to four times speed it. Um, and unfortunately, as you know, this was not a triple. This was a 99%. And it's that range of that Tesla. And the fact the Queen had to hit through so many walls. And it's just an absolute daylight robbery of a three star on this max base. So Rob, I'm sorry. Um, I feel your pain brother but shit man these things happen I guess um, Great Wall versus PwC um, sorry versus Quebec some good attacks here I was able to show unfortunately not on the Tunnel 9 side um, just because of timing and all that so I hope you appreciate this video let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one peace